You know what? I just saw this video while I'm sitting out here. I was looking through my history. Alright, now you see how they really trying to start this shit? But it's not going to be a race war. This is really... Because I think everybody know what's really going on. I just saw this right now. Caught on video and the mother and daughter were tossed out of the game. KTLA's Kimberly Chang is live in Garden Grove with reaction from the mother. I mean, I, I, you know what? The whole... You know what? Let me rewind it. The whole thing might be fake. Both all all the Outrage all parties involved. The court during a girls' youth basketball game. Witnesses say the girl who threw the punch was actually encouraged to do so by her own mother. The powerful punch was caught on video, and the mother and daughter were tossed out of the game. KTLA's Kimberly Chang is live in Garden Grove with reaction from the mother of the girl. You know, it, it's because I just when I was a teenager. It was never no time we was thinking about, yeah, when we was playing the white school, yeah, sucker punch, you know, whether it was the girls or the boys, basketball, football. Like I said, the only reason we even went to the game if we was playing the white school, because like, you know, real men, even though we was teenagers, we went because there's going to be holes in the goddamn stands. As a matter of fact, you want that you, you, the little prize if you was gonna get on them it's the little black girl that go to the white school you know what i'm saying that's who you want if we weren't looking for the for the basketball team wanting them to beat up the white boys because we, we 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 had self-esteem we didn't feel like victims we only going because oh shit it's a bunch of hope you exactly is either you're gonna get on a white girl or you're gonna get on a, your black girl that grew up over there you know, you feel we feel we feel special. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't brainwash all these niggas. First of all, they probably scared of pussy, so they wouldn't even go to the game and looking for girls. They looking to fight. We wasn't even looking to fight. If you get to fighting, that's just what happened. You know, nigga ain't gonna take no shit. But your goal is, you know, you trying to get on one of these girls that go to that school, you know, especially one of the black ones. Oh, shit, yeah, her, her parents got money, she got money, you know what I'm saying, allowance, you know, all that shit. But these dumb niggas so busy playing victim, they rather got down just hang around dudes and not, I hung around with my homeboys too, but we was getting money. Getting money, getting money, not not hanging around. Oh, I'm. Oh, these white folks won't let us do nothing. We weren't thinking about white folks. Only thing you thinking about is not fucking up, going to prison, or bring you know getting killed. That's it. And you weren't worried about white folks killing you. You weren't thinking about that. That didn't cross your mind. It's like these niggas are proud of being bums. How in the fuck you at that? You know, then they play victim. You calling me a bum? Nigga, it's like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Every day you hang around niggas. No money. No nothing. And then when somebody call you, it is what it is, a, a bum. Oh, how you going to call uh, white supremacy? You think you white. How in the fuck all these years later, all of a sudden, we we think we white? Nobody said, look, look at movies, look at TV shows, look at the news, listen to music. There was nothing about we think we white. People was just getting money. They brainwashed y'all stupid ass niggas. And y'all believe that shit. You know, it's like, how could you believe... That you a victim. Now, I understand if you scared of pussy. You shy. But that don't mean you got to be a bum. You can still go get some money. You can still get money. Ain't nobody going to dog you out. Because, you know, seriously, no, we never said nothing to a nigga who was scared of pussy. Long as you solid, you know, you, you, doing, you doing what we do, that's fine. Period. Ain't nobody gonna dog you out. That's some whole shit. 
you know, you get up the courage to go talk to a little bitch, you know, ain't nobody gonna dog you out. Matter of fact, we gonna pull up, if a other nigga get mad, we gonna pull him back. Nigga, chill. Why you hating on him? You know, let him do his thing. I promise you. I, we done done it before. Ain't no trying to be funny and laughing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, look at him. No, that's some whole shit. Nigga, that mean you jealous. I'm telling you. I, I could with none of it. We couldn't stand that shit. Like, why you hating, nigga? You mad? If you wanted to talk to her, why didn't you say something? Before he said something, now all of a sudden you mad and trying to be funny and get us to, we not finna laugh at him? Because you mad and jealous? Hoe ass nigga? You a hoe nigga? Don't nobody like, and they trying to make being a hoe nigga the thing. That's what we're trying to tell y'all. They brainwashing y'all. You know, being a hoe, you respecting with, no. No, you're not. They don't like you. But, you know, so this thing right here. This chick. Who got punched? Kimberly. So it look like this chick. Is now easier than ever. And with America's home place, we can So it is an ad. Let me let this ad play. We've built homes for nearly 40,000 families. Wrong ad. Shit, nigga, it's just a button, fool. Is that just another thing? You know, back in my day, I would assume, because it never happened to me, if you tired of getting called a whole ass nigga, you don't play victim. You change what you doing. You know, you go out and make some money. You ain't trying to impress nobody. You stick to yourself. You do what you doing, and that's the end of it. Niggas will forget about you. And really, like I said, back in our day, wasn't nobody calling you nothing like that unless you did something. That means you really was a whole ass, just like what I was just talking about. You was jealous. You couldn't go out and get what we was getting. Now you're jealous. That's why niggas, you know, we would stick together. Cause you know, you just don't, you just, you just don't like it. Sitting there mad and shit, you know, you know, it's like basically, nigga, you could tell the nigga mad, nigga mad as hell. And what nobody, that's what I'm saying. They brainwash y'all into thinking niggas want to make. Why would a nigga want to make another nigga mad? That's some gay shit. I'm going to make these niggas. So you get up in the morning with another dude on your mind so you can make you so you you get dressed up to make another nigga mad. No, nigga, you like a bitch. That mean, obviously, he must have fucked you. He fucked you and didn't call you back. Now you want to make him mad. You like a bitch. Oh, I'm going to get my revenge body. Ain't nobody making ain't nobody buying cars, buying jewelry, buying clothes. Getting girls to make you mad, nigga. Ain't nobody thinking about you. They brainwash their stupid ass. They get all this noose just like the nigga right there just turned around. He got one of them Dodgers. And it's like, don't nobody really who like cars. Car guys really don't like. It's not hate. I promise you, it's not hate. It's not that. It's just they, 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 they gave them to the wrong people. They gave them to the wrong people. You know, if you, you like most of us who've been reading car mag, I've been reading car magazines since since the eighties. You know what I'm saying? You know that's oh, you know about this and that. Da, 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 da. It's like that. The dot. That's what we're trying to tell you. It's like nah, it's, Dodge really wasn't it. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I, I was in middle, probably not even middle grade school. You read car magazines. I remember when the you know the 280Z came, well the 300Z. In 84, whatever year, you know, could the car magazines tell you what's coming out in two or three years? You know, the redesigns, all that shit. 
These dumb niggas really think it's jealousy. No, if you read about cars, it's not about just doing donuts. The handling, the suspension, all that shit. Zero to 60, quarter mile, the slalom, how fast is around the track, all that shit. If you care about that type of stuff. It's not about looking, you know, all that, that fuck nigga shit. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So they didn't, they didn't enter. If you really don't like cars like that, that's fine. But when people like us who like cars our whole lives, not just to look good, but actually like to drive, drive fast, maybe go to the track on the weekend, you know, and get some track time. We're not buying it if we buy, if they come out with a car that's actually track qualified, but actually happen to look, look good. That basically, you, you, you're a perpetrator. You just bought that car to perpetrate. So we go out and work for it and buy it. You think we we trying to be like y'all? Like y'all? Like no, nigga, you trying to be like us? And we trying to tell you, you bought it just to you know do stupid shit in. But. That's what I'm saying. They brainwash. You know, I be trying to tell y'all, man. That's not what it's about. But it's not because I want to tell. Yeah, you want to be boss, man. Like, why in the fuck would I want to be your boss, man? Do you understand what comes with being a boss, man? So when y'all fuck up, I got to pay for it. Ain't no way in the hell I'm your boss, man. Like, nigga, don't lie on me. You fucking lying on me. These niggas ain't on my team. And I don't mean pay for it like money. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Nigga ain't coming to me because you fucked up their shit. They coming for my shit because you fucked up. And if you're a real boss, man, you got to take it. You, you, hey, that's, that was that man on your team. Yeah, he on my team. You fucked. Like, I, I ain't agree to this shit. How y'all going to make me your boss, man? Yeah, you, baby, yeah not even a fall guy. Or, or whatever. Like, hell no, nigga. You ain't show me nothing. I ain't talking about stupid shit. All that little stupid shit, you know, stealing, you know, trying to sell. Little, little stupid shit. Nigga, you ain't come with no big time plan. You know, I, I can get, you know, a caper. A real caper. You got some some G's. You know, some risk worth in risk worth your life or prison time. Y'all, y'all... <laughs> For, for some misdemeanor or even a felony, but it's only like a thousand dollars. How the hell are we gonna split that? <laughs> you lost your fucking mind. Hey, nigga, I ain't your boss, man. Shit, I gotta pay for it. I ain't even talking about the cops, you know, you go catch a cat. No, shit, I'm talking about niggas. No, nigga. Oh, I, I, yeah, I know that nigga, but shit, you know, we kick it. Yeah, I drank some, you know, smoke some <laughs> shit or whatever. No, I'm not your boss, man. Don't call me that, cause I'm not your boss, man. I keep trying to tell you, you can't. And that's another example for all y'all. Don't let people lie on you. Um, I'm dead serious. There's some lies that will get you killed. You got, you got to put that. Don't, don't take it as a compliment. Don't take it as it's cool or it's cute. This shit will get your ass killed, and you don't even know why. Why you dying? You, you, your last two thirty seconds, you don't even know what the fuck going on. Don't don't none like no nigga. Put that lay that lay that shit to rest immediately. I can't reiterate how important that shit is to not not let nobody lie on you like that. It's not about being a boss. It's not about putting your you know putting your thing down. <laughs> it's shit, not even about survival because survival's you know you a hoe if you you got to survive that's just dumb you you know that's just dumb shit like no nigga you claiming some dumb you know shit like no but <laughs> you know <laughs>